Where the heck was I going now? God, I barely touched this map. Jump there real quick. Da 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 do 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 Sucked. <laughs> Oh shit, no. Ah. I'm trying to change the brightness here. The whole one right there, okay. Alright, 
Welcome. Hi guys. So yeah, this is my first playthrough. I've completed the opening part in the tutorial. I just figured um, I'm going to go ahead and stream this part. I haven't gotten too far. Um, like that black stuff, black part is the only part of the map I've actually um, viewed. So I mean, yeah, if you look at there, it's like hardly anything at all. I've gone basically here up and then fast traveled back to here and now I'm heading over to this village. So, yeah, and oh, I lost the bird, where do you go? There you go. Chasing the golden bird, because it takes you to multiple things. It'll take you to people in need of help and it'll take you to other like in areas of interest, I guess you could say. Like this guy. Uh, I've got it on Japanese with um, English subtitles. Just, yeah. Yeah, you, if you just tuned in, you just missed I just died. <laughs> um, yeah, the lack of uh, a lock on is kind of new to learn on. <laughs> そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そ
Ah, crap. Because, yeah, their range gives them, um... Ah, come on. Alright, those archer guys are pissing me off. Ugh, where are they at? I know there's another one somewhere. Oh, jerk. Stop shooting me. Yeah, they do give you hints like they'll scream out right before they fire. To basically tell their buddies that, you know, they're... Oh, yeah, jerk. Where are you at? Anymore? Or I get them all. Yeah, and the guys that crawl away, like, if they're not dead... Ah, shit. Yeah, you gotta be careful with your dodge, because you can dodge too far away, and you're very useless, kind of, I guess. Um, with, when you're fighting the spear guys, you only want to dodge a little bit, and then come back in and hit them, because if you try to do it where you hit, you know, where you dodge really far, you know, like you double, do the double dodge like this, you're too far away to go back in and strike. Alright, where am I going now? Okay, so I'm headed back. They do have fast travel in this, which is kind of nice. Um, you know, and it's, um, and unlike, uh, and unlike uh, Red Dead, which I like, is a great game, it's just... It's not, um, you know, it, it's definitely not, uh, it's too authentic in times. I know that sounds pretty funny, but yeah. Ooh, a fox den. Sweet. Foxes take you to the little Nari shrines, um, that basically, you know, help you upgrade and get you more charm, you know, spacers for charms, which give you basically bonuses and stuff like that. Um, and all that. I mean, like, yeah, you can see the blood on my cloak, um, the detail in all this, like the blood in the cloak, and I'm um, sure if there's blood all over the front of me, too. I mean, there's blood on my, sh on my arm. Yeah, the climbing is actually really intuitive. Like, it's, yeah, you, you know, if you want to climb something, it's, you know, you just press X to jump up to the climb, and then you literally just use your analog stick to, you know, um, move to the next piece. I, I almost kind of wish the camera was a little farther out at times, but I can understand. Like, it's definitely, like, for combat, it, it spreads, it, it backs out, so that's nice. But, yeah, so, you know, pay respect to the showing. But, yeah, see all the blood? That's really cool. I love the fact that there's a bunch of blood on the screen, on my stuff. I mean, that, you know, adds to it. And, yeah, and I unlocked another charm slot. You know, so I can put another charm in there once I get another charm because I don't have, I don't have another charm. I don't think I do. Nope. Yeah. Currently, I have the charm of hidden sight. Uh, they stop hunting me as far faster. Um, enemy kill, uh, killing enemies restores a moderate amount of health, and then killing enemies restores a minor amount of health. So, yay! Uh, cool part uh, in this. You can find swords. Like, I've already got four. Like, you start off with the sword of the clan, and then you, you know, I picked up this one, and the, I picked up these three at uh, um, locations and stuff like that. Um, outfits, uh, you know, I've already got, like, you, com you can create haikus um, in this, and you can, when you create a haiku, you end up with a headband like this one the headband of the invasion overwhelming force heading heading to uncertainty reaching from within it was the haiku i created so i got a headband for it then the headband of refuge that was you know was another one i got um yeah so you know they give you like right off the bat you're already starting to get you know you pretty closely get to be able to customize um this i got from buying the collector's edition of the game which we did the live unboxing which is up on there um, yeah, so, like, uh, you know, I've got the one, I got that mask, and I got the golden mask, um, and then from down here, of course, I've got the traveler's attire, you know, and then I got the hero of Tsushima, um, I'm, and all that, so, 
And of course, in the original armor is too broken to repair. Like you literally, like it looks cool, but it's broken, so it literally gives no protective. Where this one reduces all damage by a moderate amount, but it increases a major increase to health. This one I can track artifacts uh, with guiding wind, and traveling traveling clears 20% more of the fog of war on the map, and this will vibrate if I'm close to an artifact. So, which I've only had once um, happen to me. And like I said, but I mean, I barely touched this um, at all. I wonder if I go ahead and put that on, if that'll help. And then, of course, you got your weapons. I got my I got kunai, and I got um, my bow, my half bow, and then you got stuff for the horse and the flute, which you can play different songs and stuff like that, which is really cool. So, yeah. Whoa, check me out. And the fox ran away. Yeah, if you um, do this quick enough, like if I had gone to the menu, I could have gone and pet, you can pet the fox. Mm -hmm. So what does the fox say? The fox says, oh, pet me, pet me, pet me. Fast travel down here so I don't have to climb down the mountain real quick. Do, do, do. I'm, you do have a horse, like you pick a horse right off the bat and that is your horse for the entire like game. Like it literally tells you this is your horse for, for the entire game and then it tells you um, that, you know, it also tells you that uh, uh, the, when you pick your name, same thing. It's that's your horse. You know, that's the name the horse is gonna have. Um, but I kind of prefer to do it on foot, so I don't miss anything, because the birds and stuff like that are really easy to miss if you're if you're run, if you're moving too fast. Like you know, um, oh, he does not sprint forever. You can see he started slowing down because he gets tired, which kind of makes sense. But he does sprint for a pretty long time. Uh, just, you know, I mean, he's a samurai, he should be able to. Damn it. Yeah, so... そう so, yeah, now I gotta go outside and look for tracks. ここで死すべき方ではなかった。So we went that way. So, kind of, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I kind of get this to tune to, uh, um, like Batman uh, Arkham games. You know where you look around and stuff. Um, but obviously, I mean, there's no, like, special site or any of that kind of stuff. Um, I just got into messing around with, like, um, the stuff, you know, like, because you're, like, deflection, you know, because, you know, that's the parry attack and all that kind of stuff um, you can get. And then there's evasion tactics, and then you have to complete special um, storylines to get these. Like, I want this one, the way of the flame. You can light your cyber on fire. I mean, come on. That's just way too cool. And then there's exploration ones, which gives you, um, you know, you have to complete certain, uh, complete bamboo strikes to, um, to increase your maximum resolve, which are really cool. They're, um, they're like quick time events, except for it's not a quick time event. The second you start pushing the first button is when it starts it, and you have to hit so many. Um, I did, and I was actually able to complete seven on my first one, but it was not easy, I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, like, so, and then there's other stances, there's the water stance, um, effective against shield men, uh, effective against spearmen is the wind stance, and then moon stance is against brutes, and man, are the brutes big. Uh, and then there's other things like ghost, you know, you know, features, and then there's evolving tactics, like right now I've got the, the standoff, um, and able to go ahead and, you know, like, take on more than one person at, at this, you know, when, when, during a standoff, which the standoffs are really neat, um, and definitely require a lot of timing on those, so. 
Yeah, that's really cool because you basically, yeah, you're just, you know. It feels like, um, like if you're watching old, uh, an old uh, samurai cinema movies, you know, you kind of get that, you know, that, that feeling is very much like that where you, you know, you're well, they're just standing there waiting. Oh, crap. Is that a bear? Ah, oh, mother of God, no. Uh. Oh, shit. can run. You can book it. What's that? I need to do hurry. Oh, I just got mauled by a bear. Oh, man. Like, that was brutal. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Um, where am I at? Alright. Yeah, like okay. So they kind of put me close to where I was at. And, you know, all that. So, you know, I'm not running into that bear again. If I went back there, area, yeah, I probably would run into the bear. Oh, I missed the chance for a standoff. Damn. Oh, shit. See, that's a brute. Yeah, these guys you kind of want to take on one by one. You don't want to... Well, there's this many guys you don't want to take them all at once. You, you will die. And the Brute's the biggest guy problem, but yeah. Yeah, they do not. They will not, like... They will kind of do the whole, like, let you... Like, they will try to take advantage of you not paying attention, and they will definitely try to attack you more than one at a time. So. Ah, come on. Ah, come on, man. Okay. Yeah, you do have to face them to block, like, to parry. You can't just, like, parry. Like, yeah, you actually have to be facing them to parry. To like be on your toes on some of this because yeah they will as you can see I mean I'm pretty messed up and I'm not playing on the hardest either I'm only playing on medium I kind of do that a lot of times you know I want to play I never want to play on easy but man there are times I feel like that would be a good idea pick up some. Yeah, you can, if you got blood on your sword and if you put it away manually, it will um, flick it off or clean it off with its stuff, so. I need enemies nearby. Oh, man. Okay. 
礼などいらぬ猛虎に加担しておると聞いたが奴らが約束したんです物資を運べば家族は見逃すと兄は死んだぞお主の通行証を奪おうとしておったそんなあ,あのバカリあ道理で俺が疑われたわけだ通行証など持ってませんあれには運び手の名が掘られてるんです他のものは使えないのかもう行けまたもうこと手を組んでみろその前に殺されるそれより家族が気がかりですが Yeah. If you've got any questions or anything, go ahead and you know, pop them up on the chat. I'll, I'll see if I can answer them. Can't bow to you. It's not honorable to bow to you. Cost of iron. Da -da -da. Yeah. Yeah, and this is kind of your progress of your XP. Every time you get one of those marks, you get, uh, you know, you get a skill point. Charm at advance. All right, what charm is that? All right, so let's see. Ghost weapons deal 24 more damage. I will totally take that. Anything that lets me kill those guys faster. They're mean. Okay. So. Yeah, like this Kuta farmstead over there. Yeah, um, but yeah, like you see, I can barely, I barely touch that, I mean, it, it's that basically darkish red, that deep red or blackish color in there is, yeah, <laughs> I barely touched it, and I spent oh, a couple hours last night, several hours last night playing through it just to kind of get ahead, I, didn't, I was trying to, I didn't want the opening to be ruined, so I didn't, I didn't stream that, um, you know, for anybody who's into this for, you know, their own playthrough. Fox Den. Haiku Point. Uh, Traveler's Rest Inn. I can't go there. But I can trans I can fast travel to the Haiku Point. Which, they're really cool. The Haiku Points are really neat. Because you... Um... Cause yeah, you get to kneel down and it's like all these like serene areas and all like super beautiful areas and everything. Okay, so go ahead and go there. Wind it tells you, yeah, you like follow the wind and it literally like I love the fact that like the interface, the interface and the hot and everything and the HUD is so minimal. Um, like, yeah. Oh yes, you can swim. So, haha, <laughs> you do not die when you hit the water. You are not <laughs> incapable of swimming. You're not a guy who lives on an island who can't swim. Did I hear a duck? I thought I heard a duck. Yeah. I haven't tried chasing the horse in the water yet. I don't know if the horses swim or not. But, yeah. But yeah, just a gorgeous looking game. Yeah, the water physics so far, I'm really digging it. Like, like if you stay in the water, if you watch, you can see his arms actually agitate the water um, around him. So it's not like it's just, you know, he's moving his arms and the water doesn't do anything. You actually see agitation in the water, which is really cool. You can pick up stuff while on horseback. Like, you can just keep moving. You don't have to stop. Um, to pick up, uh, to pick up things. The flowers that you pick up, um, are for dyes. Like, if you, you want to dye your clothes and change the color of them, that's a feature, too. Okay. So, I got something over there. Which I don't know what that is. And there's something, there's another underscore location right there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and head. So, that's this, whatever this is. Yeah, haven't learned any ninja stuff yet. Uh, 
So yeah, see here's the targeting. Okay, the dogs can get up here. No, they can't. Oh, nope, shoot, yeah, they can. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't want to kill the bear, but... <laughs> sorry, but I hate... I'm sorry, doggy, but... Predator hides, yes. Um, yeah. Did that talk all glitch out funny? It did! It glitched out funny! Check it out! <laughs> Shit, boo boo. That dog is very impressive doing some some kind of yoga or tai chi. I don't know, or something. You can, the cool part, like those lanterns, the open lanterns, if you can shoot arrows into them and it will. It will um, actually like set stuff that's right there on fire. Like you can literally um, beehives too. You can uh, hit those and it'll attack, and the bees will attack stuff nearby too. That's really neat. Um, like they yeah, they give you like a lot of stuff when you're fighting, uh, when you're fighting, when you're in like when you're doing this kind of stuff. You know, um, if I would have stayed kind of on the outside, I could have like probably drawn them out and attacked them that way. Yeah. Oh, this is a pretty big encampment. So, yeah. Okay, I gotta take a quick break, guys. I will be right back.
and I'm back. Okay, back to getting my gloves. So yeah, you can't just climb anywhere there, so you have to actually be near something you can get on top of. Ooh, arrows. Sweet. Go, ninja. That's a cool animation, I like that. Yeah, and if they don't see you, like if he doesn't, you know, like if they don't see you, it doesn't alert everybody. So, like that dude's, you know, they're gonna look for me, but like there's, yeah, see. And when they speak Mongolian, you don't actually um, get subtitles for it because he doesn't know Mongolian, so that kind of makes sense. This is a lot of dudes. Yeah, I can't get my arrow bow out from one in this position, which makes sense. Should have aimed a little higher with that guy. Still haven't got the um, the bow and arrow stuff completely down yet, so. Yeah, you can't use the camera to your advantage a lot of ways. Um, just given... Oh. Oops, they saw me. Oh shit, ow! Nice shot, dude. I'm not the rest of the bow yet. Oh, 
Oh shit. Camera's not your best friend in this game. Cart tower. Not expecting you. Oh, that was satisfying. I could shoot that. I could have blown that up.
Fate cleans it off with his arm. Oh yeah, it's definitely not easy, um, but it is definitely um, it's challenging, but it's fun. Um, I don't feel too... Um, I can say, yeah, it is so much better playing on a, on a big screen TV than playing on, um, like your laptop or whatever, you know, like when I'm remote playing, I'm using my laptop here. Um, if I can play on a big screen TV, like the uh, detail, like the color, the all of that, like this, you know, the high dynamic range, the HDR, all of that stuff is makes a big difference. Um, Yeah, the supplies basically is just, you know, stuff that you need for upgrades and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it's nothing like, uh, you know, it's not food or anything like that, you know. Um, I basically have to kill people to <laughs> be able to heal myself um, in regards to that, so... Yeah, it's... So yeah, like uh, you go under uh, gear or collection, you know, exploration satchel, like yeah. So like wood and bamboo and metal and cloth and just general supplies you can use. They're basically kind of currency. They've got different different like flowers, um, you know, there's multiple different type of currency and stuff like that. Hi, Bubbles. Bubbles our doggy. He adopted us. So yeah, supplies are basically just your currency um, and stuff like that. So, destroy the black powder cache. Okay. Yes. Ah. Yeah, like, you literally have to look for stuff. They don't just give you... Yeah, so you that into there again. Oh, because I didn't hit the barrels from the right way. I should probably run. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, pretty! Nice. Well, that was awesome. Uh oh. Here's the boss. Kill these guys to, um, get, you know, like you have to kill so many of them to be able to get the water stance and the, and the wind and all that kind of stuff, so.
Oh, that is so... And you can die, like I said, yeah, just as easy as you kill one of them, they can kill you. So... And you can break their guards. So that's the cool part, like, you can totally break their guards. the water stance. Da, 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 da. Music's really cool. I liberated the dojo. Ha ha. Now everybody is going to be Karaki fighting. Ooh, I got two. Sweet. Okay. This is the hard choice. What do I spend it on? Any ideas? Anybody? Anyone? No? Okay. Because, yeah, I don't know what to spend it on. A new technique available, I learned. Okay. I'll do perfect pairing. Perfect pairing is cool. But, yeah, I got this one, which allows me to, like, do a parry and do a strike. Uh, Uh, well, that would be kind of nice. Slow time when aiming to improve accuracy. That could be worth something. I mean, that might actually be worth it. That'll give me a little bit better than that. Stance. Piercing strength. Hold, then tap. So I've got to do that. That's a, yeah, that, pier that in there is really nice. So. Oh, you can buy these. Okay, I thought you had to do stuff for them. Resolve, Winter Charms, Winter Vanity. Yeah, these are, you know, to, um, uh, Following the guiding winds to discover items. That's where you, you know, like those things you can get swords and hats and that's where I got the hat I found it. <laughs> Wind of Anari. Dodging slash. Ooh, sprint strike. Kinda like that. I like Raging is slow moving up. Pairing an unblockable attack from a Mongol. That would be nice. I, I, that, those unblockable attacks, which is when they show up on their weapon, it comes with that red the little uh, star or whatever shows off. And that's, yeah, that's when you're like, those you can't block well, or you can't, they're unblockable. But I, I can parry them, so that means I'm a little less, uh, not going to die so easily, hopefully. Yeah, got yeah, the armor I'm wearing and the armor and my horsey is all from the collector's edition. If you didn't get to see the live stream, one of the coolest things that I got in that is a wearable oni mask. Um, the, yeah, in regards to that, like this literally is yeah. See, just gotta build satchel to my face and I can run around. Pandemic ninja, pandemic samurai. <laughs> yeah. That's very cool. Um, highly like 
it's it's not light. It's very solid. Um, kind of want to make a copy of it. Uh, make a resin copy of it. Yeah, Hershey. Yeah. And uh, Mount Horse. Yes. Ah, well, there's the traveling guy. New crest, half bow. Okay. Long range bow. Die armors. Yes, I like it. I could totally like you know. Once you get other armors and stuff, you know, like the traveling attire, like I can totally, yeah. So I can make it red, or I can make it yellow and gray, which I don't like that. It looks kind of like I'm wearing like a burlap sack. I'm not a big fan of that. Sword kits, yeah. So like, um, you can buy swords and stuff like that too. Like, did you get that tiger? <laughs> yeah. Um, Snow Demon Eye Katano. Kind of reminds me of um, um, Rukia's sword from Bleach, if anybody's a Bleach fan. <laughs> the Sea Dragon. But yeah, like Emperor's Tears. The Purpose. Pure of Purpose. Prepared to face death. And honestly, these are all just like, it's all cosmetic. It's not any, you know, there's no real like, uh, specialty to it. So yeah, like simply unaffected and repaired by its owner for many years. You know, fierce warrior headband, Kyoto Twilight headband, and Hinode headband. What you doing, Bo? Hmm? Oh, you got something you're trying you're trying to hide your cookie. Okay, he's got a little doggy bone. I'm trying to hide it. I like the hat I got on now because it reminds me of um, uh, uh, the guy from uh, Ninja Scroll and everything like that. Um, Jin, I think his name is. Yeah, like he's might be Jin. I don't remember. But yeah, like so yeah, I can be red, white, and blue. Look how lucky I'm uh, very festive. I, I I I'm very patriotic to the USA, even though um, this is feudal Japan. So <laughs> yeah, I haven't discovered these armors yet. But once I do, you got nothing I want. But yeah, like even in here, you have to look for the the lo for the symbols to see people, and you gotta kind of go hunting for it. You know, they're not just like, oh, here it is on the map. This is where you got to go. You gotta kind of run around and look um, for them. So it's a very minimalistic setup. Da, da, da. I rescued a dojo. You rescued a dojo. Well, I, I was I, 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 I freed a dojo. I took all the bad guys out. Yeah. Dojo. dojo. Now I can learn the way. I can learn the way of the samurai. Right, I am a samurai. Do it need to clean up in here, man? It is dirty. Giant doors. So yeah, I freed a dojo. Yeah. Oh wow, that unlocked it. Wow. Okay. So the dojo gave me a huge new area. Look at that. Just yeah, rescuing the dojo or freeing the dojo or whatever you want to call it. Um, that gave me a bunch of area. Like nice. Undiscovered. The undiscovered country. Okay, not Star Trek, but you know. Whoa. Oh, let's go that way. Put this sword away. Never run pl uh, and put your sword away. You know, hey, look, it's, it's Kikyo! <laughs> or is it Kagome? <laughs> it is a shrine. It's Kagome. <laughs> well, too bad it is. 
That's his mighty. Konnichiwa. Thank you very much. Yeah. And then your people will tell you about other stuff, too. Of course, I think I'm already going that way, anyways. So. Let's follow the wind. Follow your fart. Why can't I cut the bamboo down? Tsushima, if you know, is a real island. It's not fake. Come on, boys. So you gotta be. children. Oh, he's the only one who's ready and die. <laughs> oh, I love that. They—they're Mongols. They invaded my country, my island, killed my people. They must die. Yeah, even the big dudes can go down in one shot. Was there somebody over there? No, there was nobody over What the heck is he aiming at? I observed him. Ooh, I learned the water stance. I didn't have to kill him yet. I just had to observe his dumbass. Water stance. Water stance is highly effective against shields. Okay. Hold R2 to change stances, okay. Triangle, then tap tap for fury strikes, or three triangles to... Oh, he's got two swords. Ugh.
Son la Come on, boys. Let's play out here. <clears throat> what are you shooting at? Killed. Observe or kill more leaders to unlock the wind thons. Be like water. Where you at? Got a Mongol artifact. I am also. Ooh, that was neat. Didn't know you could do that. The mm. Kunai are full. Fabric, nice. Can I play the drums? Nope, can't play the drums. Damn it. I want to play the drums. I think that's racist. Well, let me play the drums. It's because I'm Japanese. Can't play the Mongol drums. It's wrong, man. Singing crickets. Yeah, the amount of collectibles in this game are huge. Some of my my guys actually kind of are like, ooh, I want to learn, I want to play, I want to collect. Some I don't care. So pretty. It is very pretty. It's 4.30! I am here in Dem I am here in Broomfield, Colorado. Where are y'all from? Y'alls? Wee. Wow. Okay, let's see. Meow, 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 meow. Ooh, that cleared another area. The Yoichi Slope. Yoichi. If it was Yodoichi, that would be something else, because Yodoichi is, um, I forgot, um, the character, the anime character's name. There's another name, so besides Yodoichi. Oh, yeah. Fast travel to places. You cannot fast travel there, because I haven't been there yet. Da -da 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 -da. So, but... Look, I've unlocked more areas. <laughs> I've barely touched the entire map, but hey, you know what? Who cares? Yes, I gotta go save my uncle. Which I have a feeling is actually in on it. I don't trust him. He got uh, he got taken a little too easy, personally, for my taste. Stone stunts. 
Water stance. Stone. Water. Stone water. I can dance, I can dance, I can dance. <laughs> Be like water. No gifts and no upgrades available. Not just a merchant. Samurai clan armor, major legend. Increase my legend. The legend. Singing crickets. Crickets are a symbol of autumn and inspiration for many poems and lyrical works. Prized for their singing. They are often caught and kept in small cages. They can be found elsewhere in nature, throughout, though some say it's best to look in cemeteries where they sing to comfort the dead. Mongol artifacts. Culture. Da -da -da -da. One, I got a, a attic tree. A structure deeply rooted in traditional Mongol folk region or shamanism. Mongol shamanism is affiliated with the aspects of culture, including medicine, religion, and appreciation for nature and ancestral worship. So if I get four more to get a new flute thing. Ooh, cool. That's neat. So that's how you get your flutes. And yes, you can save any time. So, you just like save. Uh, it doesn't tell me how long I've played, though. Like, they should... Ha every game should tell you that on your save. Like, how many hours you've put into it. That should be like a duh thing, you know? I found six of 59 vanity gear. One of the 18 hot springs, and they have nudity, Yushi booty, man. I'm not sure if I want to his booty. One of 16 shrines, one of eight lighthouses, two of 19 haiku, one of 16 bamboo strikes, four of 49 and naris, and two of 23 pillars of honor. I am the pillar of honor. I need to find me some silk. Casey Thales, moon. So like if I do this one, yeah, Legend of Tador, Tadori, Tador, Tador, there's, there's a musician as well, he's giving people hope by reciting the tale of Georgia and his mystic armor. Yeah, which is all the way the frack down here. <laughs> so I can fast travel to here. Make me a little closer. The wind to be like a move. Yeah, see? You gotta cut him. I had to do Stefan. Like, dude. Pretty water. Yeah, just no um, interfacing when you're standing still, though. Like, you know, when you walk around and all that, you jump. Like, even jumping in, like, really light water doesn't do anything. I mean, actually it does, okay. So it does make... Okay, so it does do, like, the ripples, which is neat. Ripples. Ripple my nipples. I am f going the wrong way. <laughs> See? My character is directionally challenged. <laughs> you would. Not me would, but you would. And yeah, like see? Climb the rock. Some more Yibud. See, he's all down. Make him stop like, huh, huh. And he does actually slow down more if you're like going uphill. Like, he slows down faster. I don't blame him. I mean, yeah. We're running uphill is a lot harder. We still going right away? Yes, we are.
But yeah, credit to the fact that they like the way how minimalistic they made the user interface and the HUD and everything like that. Like you know, and they didn't litter your screen with a bunch of icons and stuff. You know, you know the fact that they literally made this as you know simple as possible in order to allow you to basically just enjoy the game, like enjoy how beautiful of a game it is, and it is, it's very pretty, so. Did not see him. Tween. I would still love to see an Assassin's Creed game, um, I guess, in Japan, but honestly, I think this kind of, I don't know, I mean, like I said, they, they've, really be, they've really gotten away from the actual concept of Assassin's Creed, of being an Assassin game, more, like, they've kind of just, it's turned into an RPG, which is, I guess, which is fine, I mean, I liked Origins, and I liked Odyssey, um, yeah, you know, I still gotta finish them, obviously. I mean, they're huge games, but it's you know they're not you know they they've lost the concept of what made the Assassin's Creed games fun. But if they would do it in Japan, where they went back to that and like you play basically like you know a ninja, which is totally like BS because ninjas weren't you know like if you, they weren't like a lot of what people you know like the movies and stuff you know. Susu Prefecture. Susu. I am in the Susu Prefecture. Um, but yeah, I mean, but still, I mean, like, yeah, the kunai, like, that was a samurai weapon. It was, throwing knives were samurai weapons. It wasn't, you know, a ninja thing. You know, because, you know, like, ninjas were stealthy and they were, you know, their whole things was, you know, about, uh, you know, not being seen and not being heard. I bow to your stupidity. That had to suck. I hope you'll find peace. Peace! I'm not sure what that guy's doing though. He must be practicing. That's the only thing I can think of. But yeah, um, yeah, I mean they were they were spies and stuff like that. They weren't, you know, like you know they probably could assassinate, but I mean I doubt they were. And yes, the water will carry you downstream. Like there is a current, it actually works, which is awesome. Yeah. Don't look over here. There's nothing over here. You saw nothing. 
Alright, let's try this. Yeah, I screwed that up. Ah, crap. No, I'm not dying. See, that was, I screwed up. I died. Ah. Oh. So that's what that feels like. Ah, see, I fell for it again. Hi, that was rude. Jerk. 
Hide out a little bit, try to let the heat die off. Yeah, I don't know what the extra like uh, things are about clearing areas out and all. I'm guessing you probably get something for it. But I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a call it a night for streaming. I might jump on a little bit later, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. It was fun. It's an awesome game. You should pick it up. Um, this is Con Man uh, PlayStation on, on PSN. So K O N M A N. Um, check me out. You know. Um,